Hi, this is Sean Johnson with Denison Yachting, presenting to you the 2006 70-foot Marlowe Explorer, Halcyon Seas. Halcyon Seas is one of the most unique Marlows ever built. It is also one of the most versatile yachts, able to accommodate three couples plus crew on extended voyages or entertain a group of 20 or more. She offers her owners and guests a beautiful interior with a flow-through sight line that starts as you enter the salon, through the aft doors, and can see through past the galley and into the lower helm. Combine this with the expansive flybridge that offers a bar with seating for five, along with a dining table with seating for five and an open aft deck area for lounge chairs. Her Nyad fin stabilizers make cruising a comfortable experience, whether at the 17 knot cruise speed or at her 24 knot top end. Inside, you will see how her usage of space gives you all the comforts of a large yacht, plus the unseen storage space needed for extended cruising. Today's walkthrough will start on the stern where there is a swim platform accessed by a hinged door on both port and starboard sides. On the port side coming down the steps you will find access to the Glen Denning Cable Master and on the starboard side in addition to access to the Glen Denning Cable Master you will find a hot and cold water connection for showering off the salt water before entering the interior of the yacht. The swim platform also incorporates a swim ladder that is easily accessible and hidden when not in use. Centerline is a watertight door giving you access to the crew quarters and engine room. Stepping into the crew area, you see berths to port and starboard with a head to starboard and freezer to port. Continuing forward through a watertight door is the engine room containing twin Caterpillar C18s that are 1,015 horsepower each and are complete with CAT telemetry and electronic controls at both helms. Here there are also two Northern Light generators one with 20 kilowatts and another with 16 kilowatts. To port, there's a Sea Recovery SRC Aquatic 901 water maker capable of providing 900 gallons of drinking water per day. To starboard, there's the Cruise Air Chilled Water Air Conditioning Heating System, along with the Freshwater Flush Port that has been added to the raw water side of the chilled water AC. For extreme cold climate cruising, Halcyon Seas is equipped with a Cabola Hydraulic Diesel Heating System. Centerline, you can see her sea chest water intake. The engine room is also equipped with a Halon automatic fire control system. Next, let's visit the aft deck where you will see an aft deck dining area to starboard and looking aft you see two additional seating areas. A camera to starboard lets you view aft from either helm. Boarding gates are located both port and starboard and a passerelle is on board able to attach to either side for easy boarding. You can also see the wide teak walkarounds with high bulwarks, making it a safe side deck passage for everyone to have access from this aft area to the Portuguese bow. There is a lit teak and stainless stairway leading to the flybridge aft deck area. To port of this stairway is an access panel for the handheld wired control station. Entry into the large and inviting salon is through a hinged door and to starboard of this door are two panels that stack combining the outdoors with the interior space. Huge windows bring in natural light. The salon is equipped with a comfortable sofa to starboard and two club chairs to port. There's a beautiful polished wood high-low table storage beneath the sofa and surround sound. Between the club chairs, you will find an automated television rising out of the cabinet where you can keep your television's direct TV box and Wi-Fi printer. Forward to port, you will find a U-line refrigerator along with ice maker, a sub-zero wine cooler, and a built-in sink. To starboard, forward in the salon is a beautiful cabinet with glass doors for all of your glassware and liquor bottles as well as a serving area where you can prepare your nautical concoctions. Opposite this area are three stools with granite surface area where you can sit down and enjoy your evening's appetizers or sit down for a light lunch. The salon is lit both by table lamps and above head lighting where you will also find grab handles should you need to move about during a rough passage. The salon is also where you will find the heart of the entertainment for the yacht, which offers both a fusion and a sono system, allowing you and guests to control music via your smartphone or tablet device with seven different zones. Halcyon Seas is also equipped with a KVH satellite system for video entertainment. Halcyon Seas Galley has granite countertops and cherry wood cabinetry. Her top of the line appliances include a Miele convection oven, Fisher & Paykel dishwasher, Frankie stainless steel sink, Groa faucet, Decor Radiant Range Cooktop, Sharp Carousel Convection Microwave, a Brown Trash Compactor, two Sub-Zero Freezer Drawers, and four Sub-Zero Refrigeration Drawers. Forward of the galley to port is a galley dinette with a high-low table with drop-down sides and a flat-screen TV that rises at the push of a button. The lower helm is equipped with two stood ultra-leather helm chairs. 
both the AC and DC, Morse electronic engine controls, bow and stern thruster controls, Caterpillar engine monitors, Fruner radar controls, Marlowe's monitoring system that includes ship's lights, bilge pumps, macerators, water temperature, exhaust temperature, and engine room temperature. To port and starboard of the helm, you will find watertight doors giving you access to the side walk-arounds. These doors are also equipped with a screen that slides over the opening to allow the breeze in and keep the bugs out. As we move to the foredeck, we go through the Portuguese bridge to find two seating areas to port and starboard. Forward of that is the boat's ground tackle that includes a plow anchor with 300 feet of chain and a Bruce anchor with 400 feet of chain, each controlled by a windlass system. A fresh and salt water connection forward allows for easy wash down of the anchor and chain. The foredeck also offers shore power connections. Back inside, we continue down the stairs to a foyer containing a stacking Whirlpool washer and dryer. Midship, she has a full beam master stateroom with a king mattress. To port and starboard, you will find cedar lined hanging lockers, and to starboard, you will find a wall of drawers. Forward to port is a large flat screen television. Lighting comes from lamps on each side of the bed where there are also small halogen fixtures shining down from above. The ceiling is equipped with several light fixtures and there is also rope lighting. Soji screens on each side let the light in but keep it private. Opening these screens reveals portholes that can be opened for fresh airflow. After the bedroom are two separate heads that are joined together by a centrally placed bathtub and shower. Leaving the master to port you will find a twin stateroom with ensuite head. The bow VIP stateroom is comprised of a raised queen centerline bed. There are also cedar line hanging lockers to port and starboard. Like the other staterooms, she has her own ensuite head that has access from both the VIP stateroom and the hallway so it can double as your day head. Let's now head up to the flybridge that is covered by a hardtop. Her flybridge helm station has a full complement of electronics and the ship's engine's controls. There are also two more stid ultra leather helm chairs. After the helm station to starboard, is a dinette area and to port, there is a fully equipped bar with five bar stools. Behind the bar, there is a sink as well as a refrigerator and ice maker. After this area, to starboard, you will find an electric Gaginaw grill. Continuing aft, there is an Airtex 1000 pound tender crane that can easily lift her 13 foot Avon tender equipped with a 50 horsepower Mercury engine. This area can also be used as a large gathering place for parties and an even larger space if the tender is in the water and the tender crane is moved to the starboard side. The last stop is the radar arch containing a pair of Furuna radars. One is 80 miles and the other is 40. Here we will also find a KVH track vision satellite globe for direct TV entertainment and another for satellite phone. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this tour of Halcyon Seas. It would be my pleasure to take you aboard this amazing yacht. Contact Sean at Denison Yachting for current pricing and availability.